what's one studio session that stood out just over the course of time where maybe the most surprising people were walking in or you're like, what is happening? Or you didn't, you went in thinking one thing was going to happen. I just so, mentioned you know. the Dr. Dre session. I come, I give him Bernard again. Dr. Bernard. <laughs> so he, he hooks up the Dr. Dre session. He calls Dre. And Dre pick up, whatever, say, yo, I'm at Prime, I'm eating. But I'll be home in an hour. So we got to go to Malibu. All the way down Sunset. As soon as I press play, we do one record. I press play again, we do two records. I press play again, we do three records in one night. The guy said, Eric, we've been here for eight years. We ain't never seen that before. Nobody has done what you did today. So after a while, the next couple of more days, I put another beat on, whatever. Then he called Snoop over, right? So then. Snoop didn't work on the record I, I, that I, I, I did. Then I come back, Dre works on, on the record that he's doing, that he rapped on. So I say, yeah, let me rap on that. He's like, you're ever going to rap? You know, because I, I didn't rap on nothing. So I said, um, let me do your style, how you rhyme, and how you put your records together. What, what's this, the, um, your boy, the, the writer do? Smitty. Yes, yeah, Smitty. One of the coolest dudes too, he was, he was Dre and them. So I was writing some rhymes with him. And he was like, yo, we don't do that here. You know, we, Dre would say the cadence, and then we would all say a rhyme, and then if the rhyme sounds good, then we would put that down. So there's no writing, it's just 16 bars of whatever the freestyle may be, and, and if we like it. So the process was something I'd never seen before in my life and never experienced in my life getting produced by somebody, you know? Yeah. And then being able to use their method of writing a record. It makes you not want to do that no more. Like, that method is undeniably, you can't go wrong. Because you got a room of people that is, that, that is agreeing with the line, and if the line is not right, then it doesn't go. So everything is right. If I can say, yeah. whether, you know what I'm saying? And my verse was spectacular. It's like vocal producers. Yes. Yeah. And then he, he, he would stack the vocals five times, like one ad lib, but like if one word says great, he would stack it five times. It doesn't make sense when you're doing it, but when you hear it back, everything was like, yo, this is crazy. I watched him do it with Snoop and everything too. After the cadence, he'd be like, dip, 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 dip. so the cadence would be there, put words to it. Great. He said, Eric, go back to 1989 and do this to what you're saying voice, and we're going to do it like that, whatever. And I was able to. And then he was like saying that, because I have a lisp, you know, so I'm like, I can't, my, I got to say certain words to make sense, to make it go so I can flow. He's like, yo, just say it slow. So if I say it slow, it ain't going to be on beat. <laughs> say it slow. And the shit worked. I'm like, holy shit, so all this time, I could have said the words I wanted to say, just say it slower, and, and then it's going to catch up. up? No, it's going to catch up. To me, it might seem like it's going to be slagging if I say too many words at one time because of my list. He's just saying, slow it down, and it's still going to fit. Wow. To command that trust in a room, though, it's kind of like what you're saying about It's him. Room. You have to, you, once you have that <laughs> level of success, it's like, okay, mm -hmm. I trust what you're, you're about to tell me. Yep, I'm me. Yeah, he's also him too.